So now I am here with Patrick Canudia. Look up, sir. I am here with Patrick Canudia, and uh, he is a marvelous painter. And he has, I've known him for many years. Um, I've been very fortunate for that. And he um, is in the Kenya Arts Diary 2019. He's been there before in previous years. And he is also at the entrance of Alliance Francaise, the exhibition of the preview of the artworks that are in the diary this year. So, but Patrick has a very interesting origin, his story about how he became an artist. So Patrick, could you please tell me, because you didn't go to a fancy art school um, initially. Um, what happened? Your father, your father had something to do with it. Yes, yes, I've always been an artist, ever since I was little. Because why? I just used to love art and uh, used to do a lot of drawings and my dad was also a, a lover and a patron of the arts and he did meet this man called Rafiq, a Pakistani. His name was Rafiq? Yeah, Mohamed Rafiq. Uh -huh. And uh, he took him on uh -huh. and employed him. Uh -huh. Because my dad was in the movie business. So ah, this, this is what you... You tell us about your father's movie business. Yeah. Wasn't he in mobile movies? No, no, no. Uh, he used to uh, hire council halls and show movies. Yes. From back from the 60s. Uh -huh. What 70s kind of movies? 80s. 60s, 70s and 80s. Yeah. And were these... Uh, what kind of movies were they? The kind of movies at first were mm -hmm. the, uh, the cowboy movies. Uh-huh. And then obviously in the 70s when the, the Kung Fu movies hit the scenes. Yes. So he, he, he operated a hall in Jericho. Uh-huh. Pomwani. Uh-huh. Sli. You're kidding. Uh, Kaloleni. Uh-huh. City Hall. Wow. Kiambu. Uh-huh. And later Thika. Ah. Yeah, so he had this he had these halls and he'd show these movies. What was it once a month, once a week? Uh, no, no, every day. The description every, every day. But how could he uh, run all of them at once? Well, he, he developed a, a, a network, uh? a good uh, movie network, and so he was able to distribute uh -huh. and show these movies everywhere, every day. So a movie would run for about three or four days, uh -huh. and then you would get a new one from the Kenya Film Corporation. What time of day would he show these movies? Mostly from about uh, five o'clock uh -huh. in the evening to uh -huh. about about nine, depending on the, the length of the movie. So would he get uh, children or adults or whom? Well, some, some movies were adults, uh -huh. but the karate movies were more, more or less general exhibition. Uh -huh. And obviously he worked with uh, advertising companies where uh -huh. they would... Uh, um, Advertise? Advertising companies, uh -huh. where they, you know, they would show the, the, their products in our movies. Uh -huh. And also that did make him some... Uh, Extra money? Yeah. So he was uh, he was uh, early on in the cinema business. Yes, from the 1960s. And you say he also worked with the, he got films through Kenya Film Corporation. Kenya Film Corporation, yeah. Or Kenya Corporation. Film Commission, which was it? And it, Kenya Film. No, it used to be called Kenya Film Corporation. Uh huh. You know, commission is a, I think is a is a later institution, but uh -huh. the one that used to list out the movies uh -huh. was the Kenya Film Corporation. Uh huh. That's where he would get all his movies, and sometimes they would circulate uh, uh, with um, they would circulate uh, with the other movie halls. So this was strictly Nairobi, and and then later Thika. Mostly Nairobi, except for Kiambu and Thika. Uh huh. Yeah. So how, how did you get involved? When did you how get did excited? I get involved? Um, how old were you? I I got involved, and I was about. Uh, 17 years old. That old? Yeah, so so when I left school is when I joined his firm after school. Oh. And uh, was under that artist. Rafiq. Uh, Rafiq yeah? uh -huh. I was under him for four years. Four years? Yeah, so he taught me how to paint, uh -huh. to mix the colors, uh -huh. proportions and all that. What about drawing? Even drawing, even drawing. Didn't uh, you say you, he taught you like Bruce Lee and various posters? Yes, yes. So what he would do, he would 
make all these posters uh, of, of movies, uh, the current movies. Uh -huh. Even little ones by Chuck Norris and Sylvester Stallone, the Rambo series. Oh no. Yeah, he would make all these posters because those days there was no uh, uh, vinyl printing. Uh -huh. they, were, they never used to have banners, printed banners. So uh -huh. He would make a whole poster uh -huh. as a painting. Uh -huh. And th that would be the banner that would be put on the, on the front of the, uh, of the cinema. Uh -huh. And uh, obviously you can imagine that he, he would have to do them very fast. Uh -huh. Actually he would knock down a, a poster in six hours. Uh -huh. And that's why he came in and he taught me how to do it. He taught me how to paint, uh -huh. to do the drawings first and then to apply paint. Uh -huh. And even uh, write the, 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 the name of the poster, the name of the movie uh -huh. on the, the, the poster. Uh -huh. Yeah, and so we started working together. Uh -huh. I, I would be like his helper. Uh -huh. His apprentice. And because I had a background of being an artist ever since I was little, it was easy for, for him to teach me. Uh -huh. So I, I learned very fast and uh, we would work together. Uh -huh. And uh, in those days, the they, they used to be the politicians yes. uh, would give, uh, if they wanted to give the president a gift, yes. you know, they, they would commission a painting, big banners, some as big as three by three meters. Yes. And they would give him as a gift. For example, there was a time when he was involved in the soil erosion and he was uh, Ooh, the having president. his Gambians built, yeah, the president. Mm -hmm. And he would do a poster or rather a mural to represent that. Who, Rafik or who? Uh, no, Rafik, under the directions of my dad, uh -huh. would do a painting to depict that. Uh -huh. So, uh, you know, like depiction of uh, soil erosion. Yes. And preventing it. And then he would draw the president, maybe. Uh, contributing somehow. Contributing or. or Planting a tree or road, something? Uh, uh, they're called Gambians, yeah? Uh huh that was supposed to uh, prevent soil erosion. Yes. So that would be a painting. Uh -huh. I remember us doing that one. Uh -huh. Or just different occasions, like when and we went to visit schools, would have one banner. And then what, who who paid for that painting? Who paid for it? Uh -huh. It's the, the politicians. The so the politicians would. would. would uh, and which president was it? President Moi. Oh, it wasn't Kenyatta. It wasn't Kenyatta. Uh -huh. Although we did a, a one of Kenyatta when he was uh, arrested in uh -huh. 1952, we did that one. Uh -huh. So yeah, he, he, he did a lot of those historical And where are pages. they now? They're stuck somewhere in my up country. You have them? Yeah. <gasps> Patrick! Yeah, they're old. Uh, I, I, mean, I, I was hoping to speak to my people about picking up a small museum. You should do a museum, we should do a book. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, we will continue this story, Patrick. This yeah. is marvelous. Yeah. Now, just tell us, where have you exhibited in Kenya and out of Kenya? Where have you exhibited? Uh -huh. uh, I've exhibited in various places like... Um, uh, the French Cultural Center. French Cultural Center. Central Banana Dutch. Hill. Banana Hill. Boca Dot. Boca Dot. The uh -huh. Old Ramona. Uh huh. Um, Sakulat. Uh huh. Um, mm, village market. Village market, yes. Uh huh. And outside? Outside uh, Australia in uh, Sydney. Uh huh. Uh, Miami, Florida. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, England. Uh huh. And North Island. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well. And Netherlands. We're grateful that you're here with us now. Yeah. Thank you.